Hey, what's up everybody? Cerebro94. I actually have a pretty good game with Malamar this time. Uh, Malamar and Crosma GX. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I mean, the other games I showed, it's not like they were trash, but I prefer to show some back and forth games, not really short games, or not just games where I, you know, maybe if I dominate my opponent in a cool way, then okay, but if I dominate them and they're kind of pathetic though, uh, then that's that's not good either. So I want to show solid games, and this is a very solid game. So playing against a girl called Arumi, and we mulligan. Fuck. All right. So let's see what my opponent does. I'm gonna give her a free card, but when you mulligan, you mulligan. I don't know why I mulligan all the time. I mean, we should have like at least 11 Pokemon in this deck for sure. 11 basic Pokemon. So, I'm going to open up with Giratina here. I guess it's a bad thing to open with, considering you have to play it on the bench to get its ability off, but I don't care that much about the ability in this kind of a deck. Uh, I would rather just use Ultra Ball and Discord to side the energies anyway, which is what I'm going to do in this case. So, I'm going to open up with Eevee. So, I'm thinking, is it going to be Glaceon GX? I'm thinking Glaceon GX at first. I mean, it makes sense. It's probably the most popular evolution right now to my understanding anyway and he plays Bridget and what are you gonna grab what will you grab let me see let me see uh, so I can make my uh, complete verdict and she's grabbing a bunch of trubbishes three of them for fuck's sake so I'm thinking okay uh, it's probably Garbodor Glaceon GX is paired up with Garbodor and then you just have such complete ability lock, but it could be Espeon GX, and you guys obviously know it is going to be Espeon GX. Espeon GX with the Garbodors. So this deck is still played, and it's still pretty good. You gotta know how to run it. Uh, be careful. Do your shit right. Not miss a beat. Otherwise, uh, you. Not as powerful as Malamar, one-hit knockout kind of decks, but you're still good. So he, she evolved it, Espeon GX, and has a Psychic Energy on so he can start attacking. Uh, thankfully, Giratina actually isn't weak to Psychic, but this is actually pretty interesting because I can hit Espeon GX for weakness, but she can hit me for weakness too, and I mean, Necrozma GX needs to discard all the energies anyway, so... It doesn't help me that much using the weakness thing. It's not like Rayquaza where you can discard two and do like 120. But I'm thinking, you know what? This is where my basic Pokemon are going to shine. We're going to use Hoopa, the regular one, a lot. And I can just use my basic Psychic Attackers and hit for weakness. With 130, I get an easy knockout on Espeon GX. Uh, Giratina, I guess if it survives, if I somehow save it, uh, I can use that too. We're going to use the Ultra Ball here. Uh, discard two supporters, but I really want to grab uh, uh, NK here and just do some shit. And we get some stuff with Sycamore. I wish I got more NKs and the Dynamics, the Crossma GX, but we don't. And I'm thinking of passing, not playing the uh, Necrozma GX. Eventually, we're probably going to play it. I mean... It is a sitting duck against this deck, but at the same time, I might just need one uh, at the end of the game, I guess, to just get the last few, last knockout or last few knockouts. It's not like I have a million Hoopas in this deck and Giratinas. The main attacker still is the Crosma GX. So, I'm going to be able to at least bring out Malamar, one Malamar out quickly. My opponent plays down a Drampa GX too. I really don't care about that Pokemon. It's actually a perfect little target for Necrozma GX. So yeah, we might definitely want to use our Necrozma GX, even with the weakness, to at least kill that thing if she promotes it. But the problem, are, it's going to be the Garbodors, both Garbodors. The one that shuts ability is a pain in the ass. If she's running so many uh, Trubbishes, man, it, it, she probably has a good toolbox of playing the right Garbodor for the right situation. She definitely has the one, the ones that uh, attack with Trash Lange. Those are probably even worse, man. Because 
they're going to get easy as fuck knockouts as nothing else. Like, so easy with the weakness and with all the items to play in this kind of a deck. Too, too fucking easy. So we're going to waste our first uh, field blower here. I discard two uh, tools. And I did this because I want to get, like, the... I want to make the play here uh, with the Hoopa. I can get a knockout on the Espeon GX immediately. And we play our order pad. Maybe I shouldn't play this card, but at least I got heads. I guess we're going to grab something. Grab another nest ball, but I mean, all these items, man. I'm just, I'm, I'm filling the Discord pile with items. It's going to be really rough. Uh, Tapulele, it's benched, so... It doesn't even matter that much that I'm going to like fill the bench. So might as well thin the deck, I guess. So play it another NK. And you said you could recharge. I'm going to get a, a really nice lead. Big knockout on the Espeon Jacks before I manage to do basically anything. Just use a side beam attack. But man, already, already like the Trash Lunch Garbodor can probably get one hit knockouts on everybody with the items that I played with my Psychic Week Pokemon. Giratina and Donald Cross are basically the only guys that aren't weak. And they're not really going to do shit, honestly. So Portal Strike. I get the knockout on the Espeon GX. So at least we have this lead. But if I'm being honest with you guys, a deck like this actually has a very good advantage against me. All these Garbodors, uh, you can deal with them if there are a few. But if there's all this many... And she starts playing the stretchers and recycling back. You can't really deal with them. Uh, and the Crossma Jigs can't deal with them. And you can only have so many Hoopas. She shuts down your abilities. I don't even know how many tools she plays. So already she has another one on the Garbodor. And I'm thinking, fuck. Uh, what are we going to do? She ends, so that's going to hurt me early on as well. Rough, rough man, but let's see if my lead can be enough. Okay, so I get the stretcher, that's going to be useful. I definitely will recycle Hoopa once it dies, try to use that again. Uh, if she knocks it out, she's going to use her own mysterious treasure. This deck, of course, can run this card as well. Going to grab the Garbodor. Fuck that card, man. Too easy, too easy, man. Too easy to do mass damage. It's a good thing it doesn't work with supporters and the rest of the trainer cards too. Uh, that would have been like ban ban worthy. It is rough enough if you ask me with just items, but it is what it is. So Hoopa is dead, and I do want to get it back with Stretcher, but the problem is now is how are we going to attack? I bring out another Hoopa with another Malamar with Eva Soda. But I mean I can only make one more field blower play. And then it's just we're gonna have to think of something, man. I mean, since this Pokemon can do so much damage already, if I just go the okay, let me just use Hoopa EX, slowly build it up and then knock out the Garbodor. I mean by that time you know, the just the, the trash lunch garbodor is gonna clean me up. So we remove two more tools, two float stones, mind you, with uh, field blower. You know, I don't know why she played that on the Vampire GX. Might be uh, just to play it, um, or it might be just a good like bait move for me to use the uh, field blower, and then she knows, hey, okay, you use them up. I still have more of these tools to put on the Garbodor. So maybe she knew what she was doing. But nevertheless, if she plays any more, we don't have any more field blowers. So I'm going to get the knockout here on the Trash Lance Garbodor. But still, man, it's still rough. Portal Strike. We're going to get our KO here. So another fucker down. Uh, we have a nice prize lead, man. But... Will it be enough? Uh, she did get a knock out of the previous turn anyway. So, yeah. Drampa Jack's going to come out. I don't really worry about this Pokemon much. Unless she 
uh, damages one of her bench guys and then she can do 150 but then she doesn't have a DC on it so now that she attached a DC maybe she can't damage the dude so Hoopa might be able to survive so I'm thinking you know might not be that bad let's see here so choice man on the Garbodor so no abilities again and another trash lunch Garbodor out as well damn she, she doesn't get a knockout on the Hoopa but we have to think of something here I gotta think of a plan because I really just I'm not gonna have abilities unless I kill the Garbodor hmm let's see at the same time though sometimes in this situation I'm thinking you know if I can just get out the threats out of the way even if she blocks my abilities I slowly build up my attackers uh, if she can't really have a good attacker down the Garbodor of box abilities can't do shit so it was here that I'm thinking what are we gonna Guzma and I decide to bring out the Garbodor with Trash Lanch not the one that uh, has the choice band Garbotoxin and that might be a really big misplay but that might be a good play too because if she Guzmas, she can get him out of the way anyway. It's not like he's necessarily stuck with the choice band. And I really just want to get the Trash Lanch Garbodos out of the way. I want to kill them all. If I just kill them before they can do much, uh, maybe I can just outpower her. She's not going to have any good attackers. Uh, but thinking, thinking back on this now, this was a misplay. I should have just uh, brought out the Garbodos with the choice band because... There was a good chance she was gonna get it. It was gonna get stuck there. It's not like she has. She can grab the Guzma anytime she wants. And if she uses that, maybe she can't dig for energies. So, uh, I mean, either way, it could have not worked out. But maybe the better play was to try and get stuck the Garbotoxin Garbodor with the Choice Ban on. So she couldn't still manage not to do shit here. Uh, she could have attacked with the Giratina, but she decided to just leave it stuck there because she knows that Hoopa could come in for the KO. But uh, I have the Float Stone and I have the energy with the Ultra of the Moon anyway, so we can move out of the way. So that was kind of a not a great play on her part. I managed to uh, attack anyway. The Giratina wasn't stuck. So I'm thinking, hey, great, you know, we take another prize, another Trash Lanch Garbodo down. I only need two more prizes, man. So if you can just get a KO on the Drapa GX here, she promotes that, I'm thinking. Just slowly build up the Necrozma GX, and we got this, man, we got this. But she's not out of the game yet, not out of the game. She's going to kill my Hooba here and use a Field Blower to get rid of my precious tools really need them since we can't even use them our Donald Wings the Crosma GX with a float stone since I can't use abilities so will I be able to get the knockout in time or will she turn the game around that is the question she ends only getting two cars this hurts but I wonder if I was gonna be able to do much anyway we get the psychic energies which is probably what we need at this point to power up the Necrozma GX it's a race at this point and then she uses the stretcher, recycles three freaking Garbodor cards, two of the trash lens, one and a Trubbish, I believe. So I'm thinking, fuck. You know, kind of did this for nothing. Uh, she's going to be able to turn the game around here, just attach one Psychic Energy Evolve, and then get back-to-back -back one-hit knockouts easily. So it is rough, man. It is rough. Uh, it seems pretty clear that the better play was to just try and get the Garbotoxin Garbodor stuck there. Maybe if I managed to kill that, you know, she would run out of tools. She probably can't recycle them that easily. Uh, it's much easier with the stretcher grab Pokemon. And she's going to use Guzma, uh, make matters even worse, remove my uh, Necrozma GX with two energies out of the game. So at this point, I'm thinking. I can't really do anything. She has me under control. Uh, she has control of the game, and before you know it, we're at even prizes. 
I can't do anything here. Uh, don't really have any cards to work with as well. And uh, we honestly can't do shit. Once the field blowers go, if you can't really win by the time you use those, uh, and the Garbodor just stays there with a tool, you can't do shit. Garbodor only gives one prize too, so it's just it's just rough, man. So I'm thinking, what are we gonna do here? Let's just do some funky shit. I use the Inken, use Hypnosis. I get the Sleep Hacks actually, but uh, I wonder if it's gonna be enough. Uh, we need uh, billions of turns to slowly build up our attackers this way, and do I even have enough psychic energies in the deck to manually attach them? So, everything against me, you know, she played very well. Uh, she is in control now, like I've said, and, you know, she wakes up now. I mean, I guess we can use Malamar and just do 60 and get a one-hit knockout that way. Since Malamar, since Garbodor is weak to Psychic too, but it's difficult, man. I probably can't make it in time. Uh, the sleep hacks probably can't work, and the retreat is the bitch too. So I've just attached the other one on the NK, hope to evolve into Malamar, but she wakes up, so that means I'm gonna die. So I don't have anything. So it, it bas it's basically game for her. It was a pretty solid game. I was going pretty aggressive in the beginning, but that's probably not always the wisest thing to do. You know, uh, with the stretcher, you know, she did her shit right. Uh, got the control of the game. Uh, having the uh, ability lock here, having the trash land scorpidors that are going to get one hit knockouts on my dudes. Only need one energy to attack. So it worked out perfectly for her. Misplays, misplays, man. You gotta play. You gotta play right. Otherwise, even if you have a big lead, a good opponent uh, can fuck you up. I mean, I'm not sure how skilled she is, but she definitely played right in this game. So I tell her GG. You know, she goes GG as well, and then she goes, gives me the love, uh, really happy sort of icon thing. I guess she was really happy. But yeah, it was a good game. She did pretty good. So. She's going to finish me off with another Guzma. Yeah, so she had plenty of Guzma. So maybe even if I got stuck the Garbodor with Garbotoxin, it wasn't going to work out anyway. So hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys subscribe. Leave a like. Share this with your friends. Say Bro 4 What's up?